A global watchdog comprising of eminent jurists from across the world has pulled up Pakistan on the issue of enforced disappearances. Now, over the years, hundreds of activists and dissidents have gone missing in Pakistan. They often disappear from the radar after being arrested or they are outrightly abducted by the state authorities. The successive governments in Pakistan have employed this strategy to muscle the freedom of expression. In 2011, Pakistan set up a commission to probe enforced disappearances. The commission currently has more than 2,000 unresolved cases. While it has been successful in tracing the whereabouts of some missing people, accountability is missing. Not even a single government official or security personnel has been held responsible for these disappearances. Now, these problems have been highlighted by the ICJ, or the International Commission of Jurists, in its latest report. Now, here are some scathing remarks by the ICJ's legal and policy director. This commission on missing persons has failed in holding even a single perpetrator of enforced disappearances responsible in nine years. A commission that does not address impunity nor facilitate justice and victims and their families can certainly not be considered as effective. Now, the government has used the commission to deflect criticism and claim that it is serious about addressing enforced disappearances. The ICJ report concludes that the Commission on Missing People has failed in its mandate. It is also now calling on the government to hold consultations with rights groups and victims organizations and create a new statutory commission that upholds international standards. Now, Pakistan is also witnessing a rise in tensions between religious groups that could potentially snowball into a new round of sectarian violence. The thousands of anti-Shiite protesters rallied in Karachi on Friday. Thousands of people rallied near the tomb of Muhammad Ali Jinnah. The demonstrations have happen have taken place after a number of Shiite leaders were accused of blasphemy. A television broadcast of a procession held last month showed clerics allegedly making what were described as disparaging remarks about certain historic Islamic figures. Ashura is the day of mourning that marks the killing of Prophet Muhammad's grandson in a field of battle in the year 680 AD. It is considered as a defining moment in the religion schism. It also marks the birth of Shiite Islam. Blasphemy is a sensitive issue in Pakistan and insult to Islamic figures can lead to the death penalty. Over the decades, Pakistan has witnessed sectarian violence. A fierce crackdown by security forces in 2015 had resulted in a dramatic drop in sectarian violence.